Hello, my name is Joseph. I'm one of the software development engineers on the TestSprite team. And today I'm going to be showing you the way we can use TestSprite with Trey's new um, newly released uh, feature update um, where we can use the MCP uh, server of TestSprite to fully test our full stack project. So to get us started, um, if we were to set up the TestSprite MCP as a tool, you can just go to your profile here, click MCP. This will take us here to the marketplace. And here you can just uh, look up for test sprite. And here is where you can uh, add it. And when you configure it, you can actually go to our dashboard and um, get our API keys. So if you were to go here, you can get your API keys, create new key, and uh, put that in um, your configuration settings. And once that's ready, you can see if you're Asian here, which I'm using the solo coder, which just came out, uh, uses our tool. So if you were to check here, our MCP test sprite tool is being used. So to start um, um, developing our full stack project, this is a gym web application that enables uh, gym members to book training sessions. Um, this platform uses uh, basic email password authentication um, and then it also gives um, the backend uh, details. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, Trey Solo just jumped in to help us uh, build the gym app and uh, I love how it thinks things through out loud. It makes it way easier for us to understand the plan and move forward. After some time, Trey Solo uh, has helped us build the gym app, and it's really great being able to see the whole project right inside the IDE uh, with all the context laid out for us. Um, okay, and this is um, what our agent has given us. Uh, it is completed, and we can kind of go here and see how, oh, the login has failed. So how can we test that? Well we can just go through our MCP server with test sprites. So if we just simply type this prompt, all we need is one prompt. And then once we put that into here, you can see that it's preparing to use the test sprite tool. And here it's setting up the tests. And here it brings us to um, the testing configuration here. And what we need to provide it is the PRD. The um, specifications are our product. So if you we were to just put, uh, put this in here, it's pretty much the same as our um, prompt for the agent. So once we have that, we can also let our AI agent know the type of test, your local port, and test account if needed. And see, once we see that the bootstrap is happening with test sprite. Our MCP will start to generate code summary to understand your code base, also create standard PRD doc to better understand your product requirement, and then it will generate test plan to test your product. After that, it will start to generate and execute test code based on information from your code base, also from the test plan we've created. Okay, and uh, now we can see that the um, our test sprite has a um, generated 19 tests to complete for our project here. So once that is done, we will come back to you and uh, show you the uh, results. And uh, if you actually go to your uh, test sprite server dashboard here, um, you can see that your progress, you can actually track your progress of uh, what sort of testing that is uh, happening for the, in this case, the front end. Uh, we can see if the member login success with uh, valid credentials, code, uh, coach login success, any failures, um, and just any of the logic that can happen in the front end is all being tested right now with uh, Test Sprite. After some time, we can see test execution is done, and three out of 19 tests passed. Um, we can also view more detail uh, in test report um, generated by Test Sprite or we can go to TestSprite dashboard to see the visualized test result and analysis. For example, for the member login test, we can see it failed. Looking at the video, uh, Test Sprite is trying to login in with provided credential, but it somehow the it fails to let us get into the system. 
with the test result, we can simply ask Trey to help us fix those errors for us. And here we can see the agent actually going about uh, doing this prompt, making the files, figuring out a, a plan of how to uh, configure our environment and our files. After Trey fixed the error, we can ask Trey to rerun previous tests with Test Sprite. Okay, and with that, we can actually see which tests have passed and which have failed. Earlier, we couldn't even log in with the hard-coded uh, coach and members uh, accounts. So we can actually see that uh, members can actually book sessions without conflicts now. Um, so if you were to actually watch um, the video and see like um, like what's actually happening, yeah, so we can actually log in, book sessions. Okay, it's looking, it's looking. Here we can actually select it, book it, and now we can see that our sessions are in there. And we're able to log out. So we can see how um, TestBrite can actually generate some meaningful tests. Because earlier, um, we couldn't even log in. But now we're able to do... Um, um, the features that we are wanting to do in our um, full stack server. And to go back to Trey, we can actually see um, the, the status and the results of what just happened. So we can see how um, the highlights, um, member coach, uh, login, and invalid credentials test, they pass now. And these are the remaining failures that are um, still happening in our project. Um, but it's fine. We can ask Trey to fix the error again and rerun tests with Test Sprite to further validate our project. Trey Solo has honestly been great to work with from the way it talks things through to the integrations it handles. And we're excited to see what Trey and Test Sprite MCP can help us build next.